we should be hearing uh, the command uh, for undocking uh, in about 30 seconds. Agate, please continue talking to us. Continue reporting. We copy. Five seconds until sending the command. Seven, eight. Okay. We sent the undocking command has been issued. Hooks are powered and now driving open. Understood. The confirmation for the hooks open is not on. What about the rest of the indicators? A13, S11, it's all nominal. Okay, copy. Electri uh, electrical connector mated. The um, Indicator is off. Off. Okay, we copy. We are observing, monitoring the picture. The International Space Station flying 256 statute miles over western China, moving from southwest to northeast. Time to undocking, two minutes. Be prepared to activate the timer on our go. Yes. Okay, we copy. On actual separation, please continue reporting that you do not observe any foreign objects on the interface, docking interface. Okay, we copy. The uh, departing Expedition 33 crew members uh, had a very eventful four months on orbit, including three spacewalks by uh, Sonny Williams and Aki Hoshide. Oh. Malenchenko uh, conducted one spacewalk with Gennady Padalka back in August. Augusta. Research uh, continued almost unabated. Mm -hmm. See. And of course, visiting vehicles, including the second uh, Dragon spacecraft, a commercial vehicle to arrive at the International Space Station, as we stand by about 30 seconds away from undocking. Undocking confirmed. I see the confirmation for the SSVP mode and also the separation. I see the separation straight without rotating. Undocking occurring on time at 4.26 p.m. Central Time over northwestern China. The indicator mode has uh, disappeared. We copy. In about three minutes, the depot or should fire. How copy? We copy. That's the uh, separation burn being referenced by Russian flight controllers through the interpretation you're hearing. Sonny Williams, Yuri Malenchenko, and Aki Hoshide begin the journey home. Expedition 34 has begun. One minute. I confirm the depot will be, and I also see the indicators for G5, G7. Okay, copy, and you have our go to send the G5 command. Okay, in work, G5. G5 has been put in and sent. We copy. About a minute and a half away from the separation burn, 
that will initiate this opening rate uh, to enable the Soyuz to move to a position about 12 kilometers away from the International Space Station for its deorbit burn at 6.58 and 58 seconds p.m. Central Time. All of the Soyuz systems uh, operating normally. Yuri Malenchenko, the veteran Soyuz commander, strapped into the center seat of the descent module, flanked on his left by Sonny Williams, the board engineer, and Aki Hoshide of the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency. Soyuz well, got departing. So, we go to the Aviata. Uh, Good luck, guys. Thank you, Kevin. Five seconds. And the Expedition 34 Commander Kevin Ford wishing good luck uh, to the departing crew. Firing. Copy. Separation burn has been initiated. This is a 15 second firing of the Soyuz thrusters. Zero, 130, zero, zero. We'll send all there. 15 seconds. Thrusters off. And the separation burn is complete and good. The normal separation burn, you're seeing the faint outline of the International Space Station. In the middle of the crosshairs uh, of this engineering overlay is the Rosviet module, to which the Soyuz TMA-05M had been attached uh, for the past 125 days since its arrival on July 17th. Inaudible, we confirm ODER. Copy. Do not start close out operations only on MCC GO. Copy. The Soyuz and the International Space Station uh, crossing uh, over the border between Mongolia and Russia, soon to begin a northwest to southeasterly track that will carry uh, the vehicles uh, over northern Japan and out across uh, the Pacific Ocean, soon to uh, enter an orbital sunrise. Once again, uh, undocking occurring on time at 4.26 p.m. Central Time, as uh, the Soyuz and the International Space Station passed over northwestern China. The Soyuz, again, will drift uh, to a distance of about 12 kilometers away from the space station, at which point, uh, at 6.58 and 58 seconds p.m. Central Time, about uh, three hours and 22 minutes from now, the uh, deorbit burn uh, will take place. Correction, about uh, two hours and 25 minutes from now, the deorbit burn will take place uh, at 6.58 and 58 seconds p.m. Central Time. The deorbit burn uh, to enable the Soyuz to drop out of orbit uh, to begin its uh, targeting for the landing site in north-central Kazakhstan uh, will be four minutes and 43 seconds in duration, slowing uh, the spacecraft down by 128 meters per second, enabling it to drop out of orbit uh, to begin its descent back into the Earth's atmosphere.
The uh, International Space Station uh, has had its uh, thrusters uh, re-enabled uh, so that um, it has control now of its own orientation. All the uh, station systems are in excellent shape. The Soyuz uh, drifting away from the space station as Sonny Williams, uh, Yuri Malenchenko, and Aki Hushide have a uh, bird's eye view looking back towards uh, what had been their orbital home for the past 125 days. We are playing the distance set points by command radio link. You are go to proceed with the closeout operation. Copy. Page 97. Copy. As uh, the uh, image of the International Space Station uh, begins uh, to diminish, uh, we would uh, remind you a couple of uh, statistical points here. At the time of landing, uh, which is three hours and 18 minutes from now, Sunny Williams will have completed 322 days in space on her two flights. That puts her uh, sixth on the all-time U.S. endurance list and second for all uh, U.S. female crew members, in fact, second on for all female crew members who have ever flown in space behind Peggy Whitson who logged 377 days on her two flights. Aki Hoshide uh, will have accumulated 141 days in space on his two flights. He uh, will log uh, enough time to be third on the all-time Japanese endurance list behind uh, Soichi Noguchi and Koichi Wakata. Japanese astronaut Satoshi Furukawa, who landed a year ago with Mike Fossum uh, on their mission. Uh, Furukawa is in Kazakhstan, uh, in fact, uh, in Arkalik, and uh, will be uh, on one of the Russian Mi-8 helicopters heading for the landing site along with uh, flight surgeons uh, from, the Jap from the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency to assist in uh, the recovery of Hoshide. Yuri Malenchenko. Uh, will have accumulated 642 days in space on five flights, putting him seventh on the all-time endurance list behind six other Russians, Sergei Krikalov, Alexander Kaleri, Sergei Avdeyev, Gennady Padalka, Valery Polyakov, and Anatoly Soloviev. Uh, 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 bottle one pressure, 179. Bottle two, 178. Propellant, five, one. As uh, the Soyuz uh, drifts away from the International Space Station, uh, preparations now underway for the deorbit burn that is scheduled at 6.58 and 58 seconds p.m. Central Time, you're looking at animation uh, that showed uh, the undocking first uh, of the Soyuz, uh, which occurred at 4.26 p.m. Central Time just a few minutes ago. The deorbit burn uh, involving uh, the Soyuz engines will be four minutes, 43 seconds in duration to slow the Soyuz down by 128 meters per second, enabling it to drop out of orbit for its descent back into the Earth's atmosphere. At 7.26 p.m. Central Time, pyrotechnics will initiate the separation of the three sections of the Soyuz spacecraft. The crew is strapped into their seats and their Soka launch and entry suits in the center section or descent module. Heat will build up around the Soyuz's heat shield to about 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit as it barrels in toward the uh, Earth's atmosphere. Uh, entry interface occurring just before 7.30 p.m. Central Time. The command to open chutes uh, will begin at 7.38 p.m. Central Time. First, a drogue chute to decelerate the Soyuz, followed by the opening of the huge main chute uh, that uh, will further uh, decrease uh, the Soyuz's descent rate, and then just a couple of seconds before touchdown, the soft landing engines will ignite, and touchdown is expected at 7.53 and 30 seconds p.m. Central Time. And if all goes as planned, uh, touchdown to occur about 52 miles northeast of the remote town of Arkalik on the north-central Kazakh steppe.